Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Frugly Andy here and I'm here today bringing you a delish little play review for all you lovely people. The play I'll be reviewing is the 82 of all Damjanovic who was released quite recently. And know most of you will be thinking, who the fuck is he? Which is perfectly understandable to be honest. But then there's going to be a few who are like... Oh yes, Andrew. Dejan Damjanovic, he's that Montenegrin fellow who plays for FC Seoul in the Santana K-League and was in fact the K-League top scorer in the 2011 season. Mm, yeah, um, fuck off. So yeah guys, just a nice little review of this man. Looking at them stats, you'll be expecting a nice solid all-round player and considering he plays in the K-League, you'll be looking to get him at a cheap, cheap price. I picked him up for around 12,000 coins and he's still going for that that amount of coinage these days. If you've seen any of my older videos, you'll know I've had a K-League team for some time now. So as you can imagine, I went through several pairs of pants when I found out this card was released. Because I just love that normal Damjanovic as well as the 78 upgraded one. They were just so, so, so good. And I was very excited to try this one out and... Hence, I'm bringing you this review. Um, here we're looking at his in-game stats. Most of them are very solid. The free kicks, dribbling and long shots all look good, good. But that stat that stands out to you is that delicious 92 finishing. You can expect him to get some really good shots away. Now, here you can see he's 6'2", which is nice for them wee headers. And that high attack and work rate and first star weak foot are good, good. Then you look at his three three star skills, which for some of you may be a bit too low, but for me, that's about the minimum I'd want to see in a striker. Anything more for me is just a bit of a luxury. Now his physical stats are where he really shines. Look, he's quick, he's fast, and he's got pace, as well as that monstrous 92 strength, which make him a true force up front. Yeah, here's a few goals he scored for me recently, the clips of them in the background. Um, just taken from about four or five games worth of footage. So the, you'll see some decent goals and there's some really average goals. So just to give you a wee impression of what he's like. So guys, to su sum up this guy, I just love him. He's just so strong and quick. Got a nice lovely shot on him, as his stats suggest really. He's just so powerful and got that finesse shot trait, which combined with the 92 finishing makes for some very, very nice finesse goals. And I probably score most most of my goals with him from finesses around the edge of the box. He's very, very deadly in that area. However, um, when I get closer to the goal, I find it's more effective just to smash it rather than finesse it. But if you're outside the box, definitely look to finesse it as his long shot if you're just smashing it, is a bit hit and miss. Another good point is he's very strong in the air. He's nothing exceptional by any means, but you can definitely rely on him to bag you a few he headers now and again. Now, to his dribbling, which for me is second to none, and I know you're thinking, what, what the fuck are you talking about, Frugly? But I do really like his dribbling, and I know it's only 80 or 82 in game, I think, but personally, for me, it's just... Really, really good. Hopefully you'll get to see that in a few clips, but for a big, tall, strong man, that that dribbling is really good. It's like, he plays a bit like Ibrahimovic in that way. He's nice, tall, strong, with that good dribble. So to summarise, I'm going to say this guy is a really good buy. If you have that sort of coins and have a team you're thinking about making him on, he's just so strong, got a nice, good shot on him, strong in the air, good dribbling. And his pace is good for a big man. It's He's still very quick. Um, if I was to think of any negatives, I, he's just not exceptional at anything. He's got no real weakness, but he's not like off the scale at any of his stats. He's just a good, solid all-around player. So if I was to rate this guy out of 10, I'd probably say around... 8.5, 8 to 8.5, um, something like that. Basically, if you're thinking why that low, then I'm going to tell you now. It's basically because I, if you've seen, I play him on a silver K-League team. 
So he's playing against silver defences and keepers. So he tends to be faster than most of them and much stronger than most of them. And his shots always go in more, more or less. So I can't guarantee you that he'll be as good on a gold team. So I'm going to stick with 8.5 if you're going to play him just in general. But if he was on a silver team, I'd go up to 9 easily. Maybe even 9.5. I don't know. He's just... He is really, really good if you're going to play him on that K-League team that I do. But if you're going to play him just willy-nilly, I don't know, then he may not be as good. And you have to bear in mind, this is just my opinion, how he worked for me. So he may work differently for you, maybe brilliant for you, he may be shit. But just my opinion, giving you a little guidance of what to do with this man. So he's cheap as chips, so I definitely recommend him too because... Most of you know I love them cheap, cheap players. So, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Just something a little bit different I thought I'd do. I may do a few more if you guys like it. But, um, you've, as always, you've all been sweeties for listening. And goodbye.